In this video, we'll show how to replace the bladder or how to clean it. So first, just turn it on its side and remove these clips. There's two C-clamps, one on each side. And then you can remove this handle and remove the red C-clamp and hold this in and you can remove this side. Now you can unscrew the cap or if it's a little too tight you can use a screwdriver and put it in here and put the tip towards the inside and that will give you a little more leverage to unscrew the cap. You can unscrew it and you can take the valves off and unscrew it and take it out, take the middle cap out and then now you can remove the rubber bladder if you push it to one side and remove it in a twisting motion it will slide out quite easily now we'll wash the bladder so you can just use a sponge or a rag or anything if you put it in We'll put some water in. And you can rub the inside, clean it as best you can, take it out, empty the water, rinse it well. And now we can place it back into the tank. So we'll wipe the outside a little bit. Next, we'll place the inner cap into the top of the bladder and line up the top. And we'll use this tool to hold the bladder to the cap. The tool has a clip at the top. This is the top part, so put this part toward the top. When this is lined up, just slide it on. And on this other side, make sure it's lined up. Put the top, this clip to the top, and put them into the holes. And then that will hold it in place while we squeeze the air out of the bag. So just lay it down on the table, and you can fold it. And we'll put this little rubber cap over the top. And that will hold the air in while we place the bladder back into the tank. So you can take the tank and you can set it on top of the base here. Slide the bladder back into the tank. And then make sure the bottom is even, that it's in its proper place. And now you can take the tool off and push the cap on snug. And turn the base on. Tighten it hand tight. And now that it's on, we can take this cap off. And we'll put the base on. Tighten it a little more and we can put the valve on to the bottom and once we've put the valve on we can take a screwdriver and put it in here put it to the inside put it toward the inside and just give it a little extra snug tightening and that will keep it tight now what you want to do is try to look at this gap here and it should be as close as possible about a millimeter then you can replace the other parts, add the white clip, the side replace this tubing, and you can use the white clip here and the red clip to seal this connect. And it's ready for service.